Well, now that we are unofficially heading into fall, we are also heading into the new season for TV. And today marked the fall start for Live with Kelly and Ryan, their second as a team. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here with a look ahead. Sandy. Liz, today did indeed mark the start of Kelly and Ryan's second season. The mood was festive next door, and after a couple of weeks away from the show, it's like they never left. Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest have been hosting live for more than a year now, and after their first full season together, the comfort level these two friends have with each other is very apparent. Listen, I know Ryan Seacrest like I know the back of my hand. Live is back after a few weeks on tape. I do find the hour goes very fast when we've had a few days or weeks apart because it's like mm -hmm. we so much to catch up on. Yeah, we have a lot that to, talk lots to talk about. They stayed in touch while Kelly took her daughter on a tour of colleges and Ryan took his girlfriend to Italy. We're very codependent. We're proudly codependent. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, she hasn't texted me back yet. Why? What did I say? It's been very hard because we've been on different time zones and so that's been really tricky trying to figure out when is Ryan awake. <laughs> Ryan hosts American Idol in L.A. and will soon face another bi-coastal commute. So I guess I learned that I actually could pull it off, but I wasn't sure if I could could and I didn't tell anybody that before we started. He learned how cloning works. Yeah. The hosts have embraced the concept of going live on social media like Facebook, where followers get a look backstage. Do you know I had seconds hair all summer break? You have a trust with each other and you have a shorthand. We don't even have to, we could theoretically do the show without speaking, but I think the audience <laughs> would get bored. But we well, have we such fine. a shorthand with each yeah. other that we, we don't even need words it's anymore. So, it's so true. We're yeah. morphing into each other. Yeah. <laughs> this month, producer Michael Gelman is promising a live timbre with guests like Tiffany Haddish, Jennifer Garner, Matthew McConaughey, Blake Lively, and Kevin Hart. It's all nine. 9 a.m. right here each weekday on ABC7. Next, the ladies of The View return for a new season today as well. Joy Behar started her 20th season, and Abby Huntsman, well, she was there for her very first show. It was a sweet moment for the former intern at ABC News who began her career at Good Morning America as a production assistant, responsible for ordering limos for that show's guests. No wonder Abby was so happy after her very first broadcast. It feels so good. I gotta say, you know, you have the nerves and excitement leading up to it, and, and now that that first show's over, it makes me even more excited about this season because the women could not have been nicer. I took it easy on her today, but <laughs> we're gonna have really big disagreements, but let's leave it at the table. So I hope that she took that to heart. She felt like she had been there for a long time already. Um, she was, uh, had, you know, brought an interesting perspective. It was interesting to see the balance that she provides, but also that she's open-minded to the rest of the panel's perspective. I trial by fire on this show. No one broke me in. I said, they, they said, sit down and talk, and that's what I did. Joy Behar. Co-host Megan McCain will join the other ladies of The View this season after a period of mourning for her father, Senator John McCain. No date for her return just yet.